Hello all, welcome back. Now we are going to look at module 8 and this module covers network traffic management. There are three lessons in this module. We cover network routing, Azure load balancer and Azure traffic manager. The first lesson network routing covers what is a routing table, what is system route, what is user defined route and an example of how to create a routing table and associate with a subnet. So whenever we want to change the flow of the traffic, say for example from a source to a particular destination and if we want to alter the flow, that's when we have to use something called routes. If we compare it with network security group or NSG, NSG will either allow or deny a certain flow of traffic but whereas routes will help in altering the way it traverses. That's the difference between network security group and basically a route. There are two different types of routes. One is uh, what we call system routes. System routes comes with a default and we don't need to do anything to specifically create those routes. Whenever we create a route table it has some of the system routes by default and these system routes enable connectivity between different virtual machines or if you want to connect to on-prem or internet and if we don't apply any specific routes these system routes will apply. The default behavior of the system route is that if there is any traffic flow between two different virtual machines in same subnet, it will be by default allowed. Similarly, if the traffic is between two different VMs in same virtual network and even if it is across the subnet, that is also allowed. And similar to network security group, if there is data outbound from virtual machine to internet, route table will also allow the traffic without any change and if we have some different form of connectivity like a vnet to vnet vpn or site to site connectivity or express route those are also by default allowed without any altering the route the next type of routing is what you call user defined route and specifically in user defined route or udr we explicitly change the flow of traffic based on a particular destination. Say for example, if the traffic is uh, flowing from uh, one subnet to another or one subnet uh, to uh, outbound traffic to internet, instead of directly uh, sending it uh, without any hop, what we can do is that we can route all the traffic to a firewall and once the traffic is filtered by firewall, then we can allow the traffic to that uh, destination. That's one example of uh, user-defined route. And for that, uh, we have to specify what is the destination uh, which we want to alter, whether is it the internet traffic which we want to change or the subnet range of the another subnet which we are going to change. And we have to specify something called next hub. So what would be the next destination? so that we can route all this uh, traffic to. Example might be, the destination traffic might be the internet and instead of directly sending it to internet, we will specify the next hop should be the firewall. That's how user-defined routes should be defined. So if we see what are the steps involved in creating a uh, routing, first thing is we need to create something called routing table and once we have the routing table by default there will be some system routes applied and we might not be able to expli explicitly see those rules but it is already there and once we create a routing table we have to create a custom route and once we create a custom route we can associate the route to the subnet if you look at the picture uh, in the screen we have a DMZ subnet which have a firewall device running and we are trying to apply 
a route table called my route table public and we are attaching it to a public subnet and whenever there is a traffic outbound happening in the public subnet it will route all the traffic to the firewall device or my nva then it will filter and then it will send to the internet so that's how we can design the routing and during the creation of a route table there is an option called a bgp route propagation so bgp is also known as border gateway protocol it's a standard routing protocol to exchange the route information uh, between multiple networks and whenever we enable this uh, bgp route propagation by default the route table will be added to all the subnets uh, in which we have applied this uh, route table and this is enabled in almost all cases and whenever we are trying to create a custom route we need to specify the address prefix say for example if the traffic is destined to 10.0.1.0/24 then we need to specify that value in that address prefix and we have to specify what is the next hop here we have multiple uh, next hop types available one is uh, the virtual network gateway so if there is traffic flow which has to go to on premises then we have to route it to vpn that's why we have to specify we have to route it to virtual network gateway and we have to specify the next hop address as our vpn address or if there is any traffic flow which is uh, directly going to another virtual network we can specify next hop type as virtual network and if we don't want to change anything or if we allow some traffic to directly go to internet we can choose next hop type as internet or if we want to route to firewall then we can choose virtual appliance and we can specify the nva or network virtual appliance ip address in the next stop and finally if we want to drop all those traffic we can choose next hop type as none and once we have the route table created and once we added those custom route next step is we have to attach it to a subnet by default subnet uh, might not have any route table associated with it but we can associate one route table uh, after we created and modified those settings based on how exactly we want to route the traffic flow let's switch back to your demo we are in azure portal and let's search for route and there is an option called route tables let's create a route table let's call it as my route one and we choose the right subscription and let's create a new resource group called route and we have to create this route table in a particular region let's create it in east us and let's click on create now the deployment is in progress so now the route table has been created so under the resource group there is a route table and if we go inside the details you'll be able to see whether it's associated with any subnets 
uh, what is the region it is created everything so if you go to routes there is empty but by default there are system routes already available which is not displayed so whatever we have dis discussed as part of system routes like connectivity with between same vnet subnet etc those are by default allowed and if you want to explicitly add user defined routes let's click on add and let's call it uh, internet route redirect to firewall so the address prefix might be say for example 000 0 and the next hop type might be we need to choose whether we want to select virtual appliance so virtual appliance is basically the firewall device which we run on Azure so here the next hop might be we have to specify the valid firewall address I just specified an arbitrary one two three four but here ideally it should be the actual firewall VM IP address and once we click on OK this will create a custom route now the route is added and there are two ways in which we can attach this route to a subnet either we can go to subnet and we can click on associate or we can go back and we can attach it from virtual uh, virtual network so meanwhile we have created one more virtual network in the same resource group and in the same region and let's go to that resource and let's check the subnet So currently we have one subnet let's go inside the subnet and by default there won't be any route table associated with it so that's why route table is none and here we will be able to choose our